Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Feature Friday. Today we have Amanda here with us to teach us a little bit more about the updated Emotions and Essential Oils book and wheel, as well as a brand new product. So we are really excited for that today. Let me just tell you guys really quickly, this book is 15% off today, you guys. So you can get this book for $14.45 today only. So make sure you're going online and taking advantage of that offer as well as the Emotions and Essential Oils wheel. You can get both of these for just under $20. It comes out to $19.45. So make sure that you're taking advantage of that because it is a great deal. So go check that out on our website and let's get started. Great, thank you. I'm so excited to be here and to talk about our book. Yeah, um, yeah. Obviously it was just updated again. This book has been out for five years. Um, it's the original, the Emotions and Essential Oils, and we do an update every year to right. make sure the new oils come in from convention and that everything's updated. Um, this year is a little bit special because um, we have worked with doTERRA to make sure that it's compliant, right. and we have obviously new oils that were just announced. Um, we have Spike Nard and Petty Grain, and also the new Restful Blend Complex Serenity that was reformulated. The emotional description changed, and so that is in here as well. And uh, we've also added a new appendix at the back of the book called Decoding Emotions, and it helps people when they don't know what they're feeling. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, you know, when you, you try to figure out what you're feeling, and, and sometimes you don't always have words for it. Right. And so um, this helps you walk through the physical indicators and the emotional indicators that, um, that lead you to the emotions and the emotion words that help you connect to which oil that you need to you need to use. So wow. that's the new update for this year. Yeah. And um, and I, and just so you know, as a side note, because we get lots of questions about this, the cover has stayed the same this year as last year. And you know, Daniel uh, McDonald and I, when we um, created this book and created Enlighten uh, six years ago so, or yeah. so, we had different covers and. Um, and so we want you to know it's the same book. It's the original. It's the one that's that's been around. Um, the original reference guide on emotions and essential oils. But it does have the same cover this year, even though it's been updated. Okay, perfect. Yeah, just make sure when you're buying this book, it does say, what does it say on the bottom? It says, it says fifth edition, updated 2016, right on the bottom. So you know which edition you're looking for. Yeah, it makes it super easy. And you don't have to go looking like, oh, does this have pedigree in it? You know, mm -hmm. you can just check right there, which is perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it makes it easy. And then obviously we update the wheel every year. So you've got the positive side and you've got the negative side. So what you want more of and what you want less of and all the new oils are also updated on this as well. Perfect. So yeah. tell me a little bit more about this wheel for mm -hmm. a second. Um, you said there was a quick reference guide kind of in the back for identifying emotions. Mm -hmm. Is this more of like an extended version of that? Yeah, this is, okay. this is almost like... This is almost like a simplified version of our entire book. Right. So this one, you've got you've got all the emotional oil descriptions. So mm -hmm. everything on every oil. There's also additional um, class ideas and appendices that give you different tools to work with. So um, the new one, for example, helps you find emotions. But when you identify the emotions, so this is more take it with you, um, easy reference. You don't okay. have to read through the whole book or search for the whole usage guide because there's a whole list of emotional words and all of that. Right. So this when you just, when you're ready to identify an emotion, and some people just read it, uh, just to kind of, oh yeah, that's where I am today. I don't know, I'm not feeling that yet, but I read it over. Uh -huh. I know I'm kind of in a funk, something's kind of going on, or I'm feeling stress, that's the new serenity, the new restful right. blend, and you read that and you go, yes, that is so what I need today. Quick, okay. easy, right there. And then conversely, the same thing. like. You know, I just haven't felt excited in a while. I just haven't felt um, myself or I just felt more heavy. So I want to feel lighter and more buoyant. Mm -hmm. So you can find and you read through and you go, ah, peppermint. I totally need peppermint because I need to just get this lift or, mm -hmm. or a lemon or something like that will bring me up. So this is the quick reference. What I need less of, what I need more of. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. I love it. And I love that it's the two different sides. So it has the positive and the negative just so you can kind of. Yeah, and it's for every every single oil, singles yeah. and blends. Wow. Okay. Are, are on here, so that's why it's it's just easy to take this with you or have it on the go or make it a quick reference. Right. So perfect. I love it. Okay. So you guys, there is a new emotions and essential oils product, and I am so excited to talk about this today because we've had a lot of people asking for it. 
Okay, mm-hmm. so it is called Emotions and Essential Oils Take the Wheel. So tell us a little bit about how you guys, like what made you want to create something like this? Absolutely, love to. So uh, we had a lot of feedback about people wanting to do classes. They want to do classes about emotional aromatherapy. And people have been doing classes with our book for, you know, five years or more. And the concepts in these. But this is something that um, we're really excited about. It's, it's pretty special. Uh, we work with uh, Laura Jacobs to develop this tear pad. And Laura, um, you might have seen her convention. She did, she did the talk about emotions, essential oils, the connection, some of the chemistry. So what we realized is that there's, there was some missing information for people when you're teaching a class to understand how emotions actually work. And so that you then understand why essential oils work for aromatherapy and how they work in your body. And so what we did with this page, um, when Laura and I were designing this, was we took the first page, and that's the education page, really, that helps you understand. And the second page is the action page. This is experiential, and um, well, <laughs> this is experiential, and it walks it walks the person through. Uh, by the end of the class, you've got the doTERRA emotional aromatherapy wheel. They can identify emotions. We'll go over this in a little bit more detail in just a minute. But they will find an oil or oils that work for their emotional state in that moment by the end of the class. And this is what people were needing. Mm -hmm. Help me have an experience with the people coming to my class. Help me take them through the science, um, you know, the credibility of why emotional aromatherapy, and help them get to a solution by the end. And so that's what we did here. So I'll give you an example um, of an experience that you can walk through. I'm going to take one of the new blends. So um, I'll start back at the beginning somewhere like you might do for a class and just kind of move through this really briefly. Okay. But we have, um, so the new Restful Blend um, that came out. I am, my baby is still not sleeping through the night. <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh. Um, and, you know, the rest of the house gets woken up and <clears throat> all of that. And, and so I know that when, you get, when you're not getting enough sleep, your hormones are disrupted, your blood sugar is off. There's so many things. And so I need, I need the new Serenity, the new Restful Blend in my life. And I think I need to diffuse it for my whole house yeah. so we can all get more sleep. So physically, I have this need, and I know I need, I need serenity. I need the Restful Blend to help improve the situation in my house and stop the sleep deprivation, hopefully. <laughs> um, but emotionally, when we did the new, um, did the, when we realized the reformulation and worked on this new blend, we realized that the story, the emotional story, what Restful Blend actually does for you emotionally, because everything that happens to us physically has an emotional component to it, everything. And by looking at both and looking deeper into the emotions, you actually discover true wholeness and how to heal completely, holistically. Mm-hmm. Right. And so as, I, as we worked through this, I realized this oil was so, for me, when the properties were coming and all the research was coming together, because Restful Blend helps with feeling stressed out, overburdened, overworked, and I'm a mom, as I mentioned. I also, you know, run this business. I run Enlighten, Mm -hmm. and and I also was living outside the country, and I just came back to take care of my mother, who is um, fighting cancer, Mm -hmm. and so I go through insomnia. I I feel stressed. I feel worried, and and it's, this is the state of the world. We have so many things going on with people. We have so many things going on in our lives, and we need some assistance. We need some help, and so I realized I am overburdened. I am overstressed. I hold worry. I hold fear. I hold the burdens and pressures. And serenity can help me shift some of that. Because what happens if we move to the tear pad? The basic concept is, and it's illustrated, you know, there's kind of a wheel that illustrates the process, and then there's a text that explains. We use the take the wheel when using the driving analogy because it's something that people really. They really get and really connect with. Right. And what happens is, in your life, you have a stimulus. It comes through one of your senses. You see something, you hear something, you smell something, you feel something. And, you, and, you, and those route right into the brain. And the amygdala, which is in the limbic center of the brain, the emotional seat of your brain, the amygdala is the decision maker. Uh-huh. And so it recognizes this thing and it makes a decision. And it says, oh, gosh, you know, there was, there was a brake screeching. Fear, that's the emotion that you need, so you can become more alert. And when it decides an emotion, then the chemical reaction is initiated in your body that um, 
that you need to react to that emotion, the decision that was made. So you get a- adrenaline and cortisol and all of these things. Right. Right? And so what happens, though, is we get into patterns, emotional patterns or emotional habits, where you get the same stimulus in your life over and over again, and then the brain starts to create a pattern and a habit, and it knows what to do every time it gets that stimulus. It, like, goes on autopilot. You know, it, it says, oh, I know this. I've got this. Yeah. So for me, oh, I know stress. I know burden. I know worry. I'm going to immediately going to start with, those, with that chemical process for you. And so it can feel hard to shake an emotional habit. You just think, why is this happening? I should, I, I, you know, I, I'm working, trying to work through these things, and yet something will happen, and I'll have the same emotional response, and I don't feel like I can shift it. Mm-hmm. And that's where essential oils come in to help, because it's scientifically proven that essential oils, they go right through, when you, when you inhale them, aromatherapy, they go straight through the olfactory system, right into the brain, and it's, it interrupts a chemical pattern. So you're feeling stressed, you're feeling worried, you can take an oil that will interrupt that pattern and inhale it, and all of a sudden, you get a different chemical reaction mm-hmm. happening. And you can interrupt that, and you can also get ahead of things before they get out of control by being proactive. Right. Um, and so, for instance, in my example with the serenity, I can say, okay, I'm, I'm starting to, to worry, and okay, my mom, and my baby, and my business, and, and, and you know, I kind of get that stressed feeling. Serenity can go in and interrupt that and bring me down a notch and say, I know this is your pattern, but there's a different way that this can happen. Mm-hmm. And that's where the true healing comes into place. That's where it happens. And so the TerraPad talks you through this process, um, and then, so you can explain it at a class, and then you go to the other side. So we're going to go to the back side of the TerraPad, and you... Um, what you do is, so we'll take my example, you identify, hey, I've got a go-to emotional reaction that I would like to shift. I, I have things that just aren't working for me and I, and I need to change them. So we'll take my example of kind of being stressed mm-hmm. and being worried and, and uh, feeling pressured and not being able to unwind. So I know, okay, yeah, I've got that. That's my pattern. I know it. Mm-hmm. And everyone has their own. And you know some things are in common and some things are different. Um, and so you, you identify uh, the emotion. So you can look at the uh, doTERRA emotional therapy wheel is on here with all of the, the wheels. We kept this really simple. So you can say, oh, gosh, what is it? And for me, in this example, I would see worried right away and think, yeah, that's, I'm worried about this, I'm worried about that. It's, you know, it's making me feel imbalanced. Right. And so you would write down, yeah, worry. That's, that's the one I'm identifying with first and foremost. Mm-hmm. And then you can see the, emo- the um, emotional aromatherapy blend piece. Mm-hmm. The reassuring blend is in our book. They're all subtitles, the descriptive names, but it's reassuring blend in the book. And you would find that and say, I need peace. Mm-hmm. So you go through this process. It walks them through the process in the class where they write down the blend, the descriptive names, the reassuring blend. And then you turn to our book. And you have them read, um, so for me, like I would open to Restful Blend, and I would read the description and write down some notes that stood out to me. So I would, in reading this, um, one of the sentences that would probably jump out to me at a class is, Restful Blend can support those who struggle with an overactive mind and inability to unwind. From feelings of responsibility to feelings of worry, Restful Blend assists in quieting the mind, releasing agitation, and inviting calm. Even reading that makes me feel more calm. Yeah. <laughs> right? It just seems so great. It's like, okay. And so I, if I'm at a class and they go, yes, I, okay, I need some of that, right? Right. And, um, and so you write that down through the, through the emotional aromatherapy blends to keep it simple. Obviously, depending on your class and depending on your audience, you can, you can go through the whole wheel depending on the time that you have. Every oil is in here. But to keep it right. simple, we just put the... Because this is such a great bl- uh, mix of blends mm-hmm. for emotions. That, so we put that on here to make it really straightforward. Yeah. And then by the end, you can go through a couple of emotions. You can go through a couple of oils. They know at the end, this is what I need. This is what I need to take home tonight. Okay. Perfect. I love it. I also, I just love that it has that generic name on the top. That just is so awesome because then you can connect which one is which and you don't have to go right. searching for it. Right. Know? Which is great. Yeah, I love this. Um, oh, I forgot to mention one yes. thing. There's also the positive emotions. On the bottom, the positive yeah. emotions for all of the blends, we added those to them. So you can see, so peace, the one that we were talking about. 
Um, it promotes feeling composed and calm and reassured and centered and at ease and brave. So I think, yes, I need, so even if I was, okay, I'm not quite sure, uh -huh. the positive side helps me narrow it down when I want to be what you want to be, mm -hmm. what you want to bring in. Right. So, um, oh, and before I forget, uh, Laura Jacobson and I are doing a follow-up webinar okay. to teach more about this. We're, it's for free. You can go to our website, enlightenedhealing.com, and, and we'll be having a free free webinar to follow up with this, and, and we can tell you about that to help um, more of what she talked about at convention and more of the take-home so you know more of how to use these things in a class if you have any questions. So, right. Yeah. Perfect. I love it. You guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We are having a sale on the Essential Emotions and Essential Oils book. Yes. This is $14.45 today, so if you get that and the wheel, it's going to be $19.45 instead of the regular $21. So make sure you're taking advantage of that as well. We do have a giveaway today, so make sure you're commenting to win. We're doing, we're giving away one book and one wheel. So make sure that you are commenting away for your chance to win. That winner will be announced on Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for coming and Loved teaching it. us about all of this. You guys look for this tear pad. It's going to be on our website, should be later today. So check that out as well. It's called Take the Wheel and just, it's great. So you guys, thank you so much for joining us and you guys have a fabulous weekend.